Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and today will be the first video in a 28 day series. Um, it is through State Goddess um, on YouTube and it is Follow a Sketch February. So through the year she does Follow a Sketch Friday and picks a sketch and then either follows it, takes something from it, or sometimes she goes completely rogue um but through the month of february she does a sketch every day so i decided to follow along i love her videos and she always makes some amazing layouts so here is the sketch and it is created by kim i think this is keen so there are three square photos <clears throat> so I have these, it's actually six pictures all together. I created this grid on my Project Life app. And so I have two four by fours and four two by twos. So I'm gonna make that work for me. This is my son and our Shetland Sheepdog in the snow. Henceforth why I have all this snowy paper. So I pulled my snowy scraps because I would love to use um, as many of these as I can. I am on a mission in 2022. 2021, I used a scrap on every page. 2022, I want to use more than just a scrap. I want to use scraps as often as I can. So I'd like to use up some of those. And then these are the different snow themed papers that I have. So I didn't make a snowman, so I probably won't use these two. But this is from Adornit. I don't know who, this is Paper Studio, the snowman paper. This doesn't have a name on it, but this is gorgeous, and I love that. Um, this, I think, is Miss Elizabeth. I think it came from the dollar store like 15 years ago. Um, this is um, Creative Imagination. I love that, too. It's got, like, words coming through in the back. And then this one is this TPC Studio. Never heard of it, but this paper is gorgeous. So I'm going to pick one of these as my base page and maybe use some of this for the layers. And then I have these two 12 by 12 sticker sheets that I, this is from Creative Imagination as well. This, I couldn't tell you've had this for many, many years. I, my goal in January was to use as much of this and this as possible. It was in my Killa Kit, but these two I knew I would be using more for January layouts and not as much for Christmas because there's quite a few things on here that are snow, skate, sled, things like that. So um, I knew that I would use more of these when I got to snowy January because we did not have snow in December. So I'm going to try and use up some of this maybe for my title if I can find what I want in there. Um, and I had originally planned on um, gathering all of my things together um, when I did 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life in September. I planned out things, pulled my pictures, looked through the sketches in advance, and had everything from about day 10 in, through the rest of the month planned out. And I decided I would do that again this year. And I am for Christie's Beautiful Life in March, but I decided to take my cue from Sandy, who, who said that she pretty much just wings it. And I've decided since that's my normal with daily life when it comes to scrapbooking that I'm going to do the same. So I'm doing this the day before, which is um, fine. <laughs> and I literally just picked these pictures right before I sat down. So we're going to wing it and make it happen. So <laughs> I have my papers and some scraps. I have my awesome pictures. I have my sketch. So now, hopefully, we can make this happen. All right, so the very first thing that I did was I picked this background paper, the snowflakes, and I trimmed my pictures down. So I have, like I said before, I have two 4 by 4s and four 2 by 2s and I cut them all apart, and I'm going to use this black snowflake paper to mat my large 4x4 four four pictures. I have just enough for the bigger pictures. I could have matted the little ones individually on the black, 
but I did not want to do that. I wanted a little bit of difference in the mat for the other pictures. So I picked this white snowflake paper. Not that you can tell a lot that there's snowflakes on there, but once it's matted, you can see the blue, different shades of blue on there. So I get that done and set that stuff aside and I pull out my blue scraps. And yes, I know it is a mess, a big mess. I need to get through in there and organize. Some people would cringe and panic if they had all of that. Um, I, whatever. <laughs> so I find both my base pieces in my scraps and I lay those down pretty much how the sketch has them although my stuff I believe based on what I'm looking at on the sketch my layout is taking it more of the real estate than this sketch I believe these are probably three by three pictures or something smaller not four by fours so I have these two branding strips or border strips that I got off of this um, creation um, kit that I had and I don't even know where it came from and these two red branding strips were perfect. My son has a bright red jacket that is predominant in all of the pictures. And so I wanted to have that pop of color that is not blue because everything else is pretty much blue, blue, blue. So I wanted that on there. And so as soon as I decided to do this layout, that was what I decided I wanted to use. So I trimmed both of them out. And instead of having one wide border, I... Um, staggered them just a little and lay them down side by side overlapping them just a little bit so i love the way that looks on this all this blue and this one pop of red that blends lovely like with his <laughs> super red jacket so i lay the picture down up there and at first i realized that it is disappearing into the dark blue in that um long rectangle in the middle so I matte both the black snowflake papers on this light blue and that is all I use on here other than this bold stripe of red everything on here is blue it's a very light shade of blue or dark shades but it's some spectrum of the blue and you can see the snowflakes over there on the right side and I'm going to use those where the hearts are on the sketch I'm using snowflakes and I cut those on my brand new big shot with this die set that you can see a few a couple of them over there on the right I'm brand new to this hole I have a Cricut and I cut things out on there but I never had a big shot before so I am excited to use it a little bit so I matted each of the four pictures on a blue two shades of blue and then matted it on that white snowflake paper and then because it wasn't going to stand out on that light blue snowflake paper in the background i matted it again on like a pattern paper you can't really see the pattern but it's just a different shade of blue so i line those snowflakes up on the side and i decide i don't want them to go up so high i want to kind of overlay them a little um, that is how it is in the sketch as well the hearts are kind of touching um, the point of the heart is like in the top of the heart below it. So I kind of lay those, overlay them a little bit, and I put those down with Nouveau Drops. Um, it is the Deluxe Nouveau Drops, and I love that. It That stuff works fabulously. So I pick my title, and it just says Winter Wonderland. It came from one of the sticker sheets that I had shown in the beginning, and I always push the little holes for the tag out and if it is something I can use I will use it on the page so those two little blue dots at the top of the right side is from the inside of this uh, tag that I'm using as my title so I and we'll find some more to put down there too so this little folder that I put down has snowflakes on it and it's flapped up a little bit um, while what you can see right now so you can't see it very well but it's covered in snowflakes and I am going to use that for my little bit of journaling and this is going to go in my son's book um, he loves his dog I have already scrapbooked these pictures for my um, chronological 2022 book 
And I do have some of these same pictures to scrapbook in my Sweet Dogs book. <laughs> so I don't mind scrapbooking. They're very um, photogenic, these two. So I am putting down my tag at the bottom. I matted it because it was dark blue and it blended into that dark blue strip. So I matted it on a light, a different shade of blue, cut it out and um, put down a couple of little strips of scrap that I had down below it. Just like I said, bunch of shades of blue. And I added another little blue dot up there at the top. And I will show you, but I am pulling those out from this 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And it's just the inside circle of some of the different things like the tags and some little circles that are on the page. I just pulled them out of the middle of there. They are perfect for the scattering kind of things. So I made three little clusters of three of those little dark blue circles. And I love the way that turned out. And it gives a little extra something in those three spaces. So, oh, I guess now I'm going to glue down those with my Nouveau Drops. And um, layer, uh, overlay them a little bit. And I moved them over. In the sketch, they're not really on that strip of the light blue. They're over more on the base page. But because the top two are such a light color, they really blend right into the back of ground paper. And I didn't want to do that. And they're so thin that if I had tried to, like, ink them, I think that it would have torn them up. Because it's, I mean, they're cardstock paper, but they're cut really thin. So I went ahead and just moved them over and overlapped them on the picture in that strip of blue paper so you could see the majority of the snowflakes. So I get that done, put my little um, die cut things away. I just bought my Big Shot a couple weeks ago, so I am very new to it. I am quite familiar with my Cricut. We are good friends. But I really wanted to start embossing, which of course I don't do on this layout, but I really wanted to start embossing and that was something that I couldn't do on my Cricut. So now I am, um, I've had a snowflake already cut out that I practiced on a couple weeks ago when I first got it. And I really wanted to put something over here by the title. There's a heart on the layout, the sketch. And so I thought I'd put another snowflake over there. And I, it was so light, I wanted to mat it. So I matted it on a dark blue and then lightly fussy cut it. I didn't like fussy, fussy cut it. I just kind of gently went around it and put it up on some fun foam, which I love. And um, totally give credit to State Goddess for showing me that. And I use it on almost every layout, at least a little bit. So I thought that was the perfect place. It covers the little extra um, tag hole over there. So I don't have to worry about covering the one tag hole. I will cover the other one. Don't worry. I can't do a um, state goddess layout and not cover the tag hole. She, that's a big thing for her. And I actually am the same way. I don't like leaving them empty. But, um, so I'm journaling inside the little file folder and I just wrote, Jameson loves to play in the snow with Tinkerbell. They are the best of snow buddies. And then I write the date, which is what I was just looking at to verify on the very little tab at the top. And it is, like I said, going in my son's book. So I wanted to make sure the full date was there. I'm trying to decide what else I need to do with the layout because I'm loving how it looks, but I know it needs something and I got to cover that tag hole. So I pull out my gemstones and I ended up using a park lane. It is a light blue. I had some dark blue ones that I got from Walmart, but the dark blue was going to blend in. And so I really wanted to use a lighter shade of blue. And since I'm just like using all the shades, it didn't matter if it was something that was already on the page or not. So it is like a shiny light blue. It kind of matches the background, um, the big square in the background, not the not the back, not <laughs> the base page, but the big um, square in the back. Goodness, I think it's time for bed. All right, so I get out my favorite delusions, um, and this is in mm, London Blue is the color, and it's a shimmer spray. It's a shimmer spray, and I just tapped it out. I use, I order pictures from Walgreens, and I always get a first and last 
um, picture and it's just an empty picture. So I always keep those and use those to cover my pictures when I am spraying. I'm being very brave to have my ink out like that on the table so close to where my arm is. I don't spill it, which is super impressive, but I definitely could see that happening. So I get that on there and I'm about done. I'm going to show you some close-ups and I'm really excited about Follow a Sketch February. I hope that you all will check out any, um, all the other people that are playing, especially State Goddess who is running the show. So I hope you all will come back tomorrow for another layout. And, um, I'm, I'm really, really excited about this. So I hope you all get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.